Okay, so I remember the last thing that happened was is that we were kind of confused what was going on. We're bouncing for back and forth between dream and reality. We saw Robin get killed in the bathtub and uh, Firefly got owned. So let's see. Yo. Uh, oh, I'm in JP. Oh. I'll translate before we go back to EN. God, adventuring sounds so much better in Japanese. It's insane. Yeah, she's dead as f. Uh, she dead as f. How is she dead? We just saw her drip marketing. So what's going on? Okay. Alright. Yeah, you say Robin's there, but I don't see any dead body. Low-key. Okay. First of all, I can just say this has nothing to do with me. I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IBC, so they never lie. You think so? This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. Most basic light cone. Light cone! Manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Do you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outside this whole time? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know, bro. Why is Dr. Disrespect's background on these computers? And holy fuck, is that, is that, is that the... Is this a teaser for Zenla Zone Zero? Zenikuni has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Okay. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds to construct an unbreakable defensive line. That light cone looks so sus, bro. I don't care what anybody says. Bringing this line of defense a great death in the dreamscape, not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Okay. Bringing this line of defense a great death in dreamscape, not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Didn't you just say that? Who could have done it? Friend, the only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger, an imposter, an unsought guest, an emanator who hides her true identity. Nah, not Whittle Acheron. She's such a sweetie. She's such a sweetie. There's no way. If her death was a foregone conclusion, and Robin, her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Yo, kill me and make me become the Harmony MC. Yeah, it's just one side. What's the full context? Give me full context. That's fine. Let's do your gut. Don't and trust always takes time. I'm willing to wait. Okay, Adventurine's becoming... He's becoming better. I like his answers a lot better now. The previous Archon quest, he was weird as... Now he's being a lot more reasonable. I just hope you realize that wherever the legacy is concerned, covert plays are already underway throughout Pentaconi. Everyone's got their own agenda. If we don't get stuck on the wrong side, if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Oh my god, she sounds so hot in JP. Oh my god, she's so fine. Who's to say there isn't even a deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Yeah, man, my dick's too big, so I broke my pants. Adventuring's telling the truth. This memory's a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion going on? Yeah, but maybe you're wrong. Acheron's too kawaii to be a murderer. The IPC's not the garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do, but you know all this? I agree. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astro Express. Okay. I would really not like that. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentaconi for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of the world. 
The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before. They can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop, nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. My friend! I can't trust you. That's fine, I'm not forcing you. Good. But I'm really not asking for much, so why don't you at least hear me out? No, I'm good. I have but one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of Why don't you rely on someone who you didn't just meet yesterday? Now we have our chance now. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we have justice for Robin while also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for the family's table. I'll be real, bro. I really don't care about Robin's death. I, what happened to Firefly, man? Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Pentacone. Precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can stop at leaking, especially the IPC. Oh, we're, we're fighting leaks? But I trust there are still a few facts that will remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you, and the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. Who do you call a win-win? Ah, yeah, I don't know. Don't worry, just head back and talk this over with your companions. The navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. Hey, thanks for the, thanks for the dough, brother man. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Okay. Adventuring just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. Yeah, some of them, when they make the carriages look at you like that, that shit makes me weak, brother. When she just, oh my God. Like when she, uh, she's so fine, bro. We gotta do everything we can to stop this news from leaking. That is, unless you're in the special Hoyoverse creator server. <laughs> oh, so stupid, bro. YouTube chat actually mad funny. Actually mad funny, bro. What the? Okay. First of all, we got to go back to English. I know, guys. We're not happy about it. We go back to English because the English voice actors deserve respect. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. Okay. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Bro, why don't women just dress like that in real life? He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet, but judging oh. by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try Interesting. And pull you in line with his way of thinking. Okay. Well, if he doesn't know about Firefly, then he's kind of a dumbass, no? That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Yeah, can you guys imagine if women were real? Is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. Okay. Guys, roll a dice. Leaving it up to fate. It's just how that gambler thinks. That's right. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. I agree. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit. Well, that's unnerving. Massive wound that's very unnerving. Like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Okay. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Yeah, let's figure it out. See what's going on. 
I have a feeling Welt and Himiko aren't going to be stressed at all. They're going to go, hee hee ha ha, let's go adventure. Let's go find the murder man. Nothing bad can possibly happen to us. Dude, in 2.2, when Himiko dies, man, they're going to be f***ed up, bro. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Okay. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. Yo, what if Firefly was never alive? And Firefly had already died? And that was her dream? And the the death only kills the dreams and brings them back to the realm of the... Uh, okay, anyways, okay, uh, my brain hurts. Something about... Firefly was always dead. Something about, anyways. But follow your my brain hurts. And don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Okay. Ah, hold on just a sec. Black Swan gently touches the roof of your cock. Oh. There you go. A small parting gift. Thanks, man. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's okay. no memo keeper to cool. join you. Nice. Hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Yeah, maybe. Can I leave a baby in you to come back in nine months so we can see each other again? I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Okay. Thank you, bro. Yeah. I appreciate you. I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Okay. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Well, then let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to be like Acheron in that Black Swan trailer, bro. I'm trying to give, I'm trying to give her hella back shots. What's this? Yo, March, let me scroll up. Let me scroll, bro. Stop calling me techie like you like you love me or something, Mars. It's gonna f me up. Your ass is so f annoying. Let me out. Okay, what are we what are we talking about here? Techie, you still have the hotel in Dreamscape? Techie, Techie, have you run into trouble? Uh, uh, we got separated in the memory zone, but Techie's with the memo keeper. I feel so antsy. Help, Mars. Stay calm. Do I need to go off the Astral Express and help? Not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need me. The Reverie Hotel is in the real world. It's very calm. Not much is happening. I finished investigating on my side. Where should we meet? Techie! Techie, it's great that you're safe. That lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been cordoned off by the family. We're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet somewhere near the Kalaki statue later. Okay. A family rep. Is Himiko okay? Uh, no. I should take a moment. Yeah, boys, type one if you have your Acheron, type two if you don't. Some time ago, deep in the memories. Perish that blade now, Ranger. Why is this happening right now? Still dream, Hunter. Of those slain by your hand. Why is this happening right now? Yo, why do you bait me like that, man? Not off screen? It's going to show it? Yo, it's going to show it? It appears the outcome has already been determined. Yeah. We're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. I'm assuming he's not going to do that. Sure. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. Yo, where the f is uh, Katarina? The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice. And that big life, titty chick that looks like Albedo. You won't get special treatment. Ranger. You tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. Constance, yeah, Constance's finest. Bro, Duke Inferno sounds so good, man. I wish they didn't come immediately. We come from the fire. Would have been cool to see him. Born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy. A 
until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Ooh. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't believe in them. But my flames are feet. And time is running out. <laughs> His flames are faint. Meanwhile, he is still fully ablaze. In the distance. And so's his house. Why did Duke set on fire his own house? Me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Yeah, the feeling that's not going to happen. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. What do you mean by that? Emanator. Don't call me that. Slice him. You Slice him. Hide your true identity. Slice him. Draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. Slice him. Destruction is intense. But grief, to cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Yeah. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. Yeah, f him, bro. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. So the emanator is kind of like Beerus, the god of destruction. <sighs> All right, I accept. This really does not sound like a cutscene where Duke Inferno dies. You shall I mean, Acheron's sword is still sheathed. And you know what I'm saying? Fire in so, like, how, how bad can it be? May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. What's that? This blade remains in its scabbard, not yep. out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose. Okay. Perhaps out of reciprocity. Enviosity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. Okay. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. It's nihility. Yo, Duke, I would be careful, bro. Yo, Duke, I would be careful right now, man. I would I would probably walk away low-key. You don't know what Acheron does to men pickers. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. What does that mean? What is that all that does all that mean is that she just kills him at Pentecone and then they then, then, then they're awake? Pulls out cock. I still oh. see them in my dreams. Oh, we ain't fighting. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Hold on, I ain't gonna kill you yet. My time. <laughs> Wait, they really broke the, the 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 fevered pitch of battle. Like, hey, Sam, I'll be real, bro. Ah, I ain't gonna kill you yet. Ah, I'll give you a couple more days. It ain't your time yet. I've seen many clever ain't your time yet. that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. Yeah. And you're no different. Okay. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. Yep. 
You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but why? Really? I like his helmet. <sighs> I'm gay. Did Destiny's slave make you do it? Slave? You know Elio. Yo, Elio reference spotted the cat. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Bro, if Sam's here, Other then where's Kafka? Anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. Yeah, I don't know about this whole Sam didn't want to kill us because bro killed my ass in memory of chaos so many goddamn times and bro was only on floor 11. So I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm subscribing to this narrative right now, but I find it kind of bullshit. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Hi, Macaron. Hi. Not your enemy, perhaps. Ooh. I don't know about that one. I've seen the cutscene. <laughs> I have seen a cutscene, Akron, of you galaxy slashing his ass. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. That's not what I asked. Okay, ask it again very slowly. My reading comprehension skills are very low. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always uh. have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Oh, okay. Cool. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I'm sponsored. Yeah, I've been sponsored. I tend to forget things. Sponsored Which by NVIDIA, I'm pro AI. Rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. I use a butterfly net. So. Yeah, I use, I use a butterfly net. I know who is inside that cold armor. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean by who's inside? <gasps> Bakara! How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? No, I'm good. It's not yet time. What? Bro, bro, bro has the Triforce on his armor. Mina-san, Nani? I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Like what? Wait, so is Sam Zelda? If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Oh, shit! What the f Already on it. Cool. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. Okay, good. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No, I'm good. No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Oh. I tried settling this yep. in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. Okay. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? No! Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that. Why is that I in red? Destiny. Why is that I in red? Is I whenever she's speaking in her sexy mode? 
Unfortunately, not a thing came up. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. So Sam's a men picker, huh? Hang on. Yeah, what's up? I don't. What? Don't. What? I scared. Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? That's f that is such a dark question. I don't. Never have. Holy shit, bro. Sam, cold as f What the hell? I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. I'm Batman! So. Where is she? I really envy you. Damn. Is that so? Damn, damn, damn. Then you're already living in the waking world. What a cold, cold, cold line. Bro. This story is so good. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. What the f But we never expected Miss Robin to... Explode! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That I couldn't be with you then. It should have been you, Himiko. It should have been you. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Damn, well, yeah, bro. Hey, f Stay bro. Strong, move on. Everyone. F bro, still move do on. What we can for them. Okay. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's it's me. Low key, it's me. The I'm him. Just I'm the one who killed her. Something. It's because she wouldn't shut the f up after she ults. What that family so I ripped her f throat out and I pissed on her. Uh, indeed, we trust that the nameless yeah. has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Yeah. Uh, that's how it was put in reference to Miss Firefly. That was her Looking world. Back. He seemed a little evasive at I like the time. how there's just literally one and guy in YouTube chat who goes, what the f***? Murder, too. And then the next guy in YouTube chat goes, Ugh! <laughs> The family's planning on covering up all news about I will never get death. used to that, bro. I will news never get used death. to that. That's so Pecone's funny. He's going to turn into a bloodbath. Ooh. Well, that, that can't be but good. The murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. Okay. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you MC dies in the Charmony Festival and becomes a Harmony essay, MC. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. No, I don't know about that one, man. After all, I think it was only like the us. nature of the crazy? two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, okay. such as that IPC envoy. Okay. All the while accusing that galaxy ranger. Yeah. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that adventuring's reason. What the f does that the mean? Zacharon were highly subtle. March. What does it? that even? What does that even mean? What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Missing the forest for the trees. What? Oh, not looking at the bigger picture? Well, then, bitch, say that. At this point, I'm afraid the only one. Bro, speaking in ourselves. Chinese proverb. Do not mistake one frog for the three bird in the kitten. Like, Look, what? Let's try to gather intel first. Bro's reading off a fortune cookie right now. Then we go through Bro, speaking in Panda Express. One by one. She's trying to sound smart. We know that? Yeah, no, 100%. The closer we are to the truth. Why is he so mean to her? Because I want her to die so we can get March 8th. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. It 
spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Yeah. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. Oh, frick. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Or it's not. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Or it won't. As for that aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's a dumb little bitch. That kid and anybody who likes him. He's complex. He deliberately nah. slow played his hand during nah. the negotiations while running circles around us all the while. It would have been so much better if he said adventuring's cringe. Go. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. He's trying to f me. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Among us! Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. <laughs> nah, I'm good. It's an easy skip. We Adventure also easy skip. a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull. I would team up with Topaz over Adventuring any day. So you suggest accepting Adventuring's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls My whole around YouTube here. chat is talking about I'm Among Us. about getting stabbed in the back. What the? She's been bullied a few times now, <laughs> and I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what are they on about? Among Us. Red is sus, though. Among Us. Among Us. Yellow is more sussy, though. Among Us. We should vote out Red. Among Us. Bald guy is sussy. What the f are they talking about? What are they doing over there, man? What are they doing over there, man? Red had to have vented. Uh, you're like a broken record. Uh, forget about it. Oh. Just let me okay. keep an eye on him. Okay. If that doesn't work. We can just turn the tables and use him instead. Oh, uh, that sounds good. Then Let's do that. Could you please reply to Aventurine? Oh. Everyone, take this time to put together oh. your thoughts. Bitch, no. Pass. Absolutely not. We've decided to accept your request for collaboration. Wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll all be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. That's a lot of dough! Be more prudent with your money, but I'll take them all. Just this one time. Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra, just for good luck with this new gig. Oh my god! Just as I anticipated, the family's going to sweep Robin's case under the rug for as long as they can. So her case is only a secret between us, but the other case, that depends on what excuse they prepare for you guys. I'll take my leave for now, and I look forward to asking the reports for you guys. Bro, just give me 200,000 credits. Looks like Aventurine is oh happy my God. with this outcome. Let's tell everyone Wait. about it. Yo, he gave us $200,000? Yo, maybe Aventurine kind of is badass. What the f***? Yeah, maybe, maybe he ain't so bad after all. Hey, what's up, baby? Hey, how long till you die? Aventurine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. Okay. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. Right. Or he could just not do that. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? Yeah, or he could just not do that. I'm just speculating. I don't know. I, I guess we'll figure it out, I guess. We have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, Red is sus. He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Okay, put that shit on a t-shirt, bro. Okay. Hey, y'all, uh, well. Aventurine said something that concerns me. What'd he say? 
he accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. Yeah! It's kind of sus, huh? It's, it's kind of sus, huh? It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more... It's suspicious. crazy because he said he was an electrical, but I was on camps, and bro was in navigation. Maybe Adventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. I Maybe feel like we're getting marinated right now. Foster Low key. feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. Two frogs, one bone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the express to- He is a very, very, very sussy baka. And the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You then what was it, Wealth Code? Now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? She a bad bitch. Looks like she f***s like an animal. I can't seem to remember. That fits the stereotype um, of the Galaxy Ranger to a T. Uh, bro? What is bro doing to my brain? Hello? Eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of... Um, oh, why did my text go sexy mode? Yeah, uh, that's kind of OP, don't you think? Like, am I getting drugged by everybody? Why everybody... <laughs> why everybody rule on me? Ooh, that's... Kinda sussy over there. Hey, are you gonna die today? What up? I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. It ain't. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. Okay. But that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. She's probably with Ting Yun. But everything's just some horrible prank. Yeah, it's, she's probably with Ting Yun. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this shouldn't only good things happen here well the problem is is that we're crewmate right the problem is, is there's two imposters march and we need to vote them out because there's imposters living among us right we need to finish our task right but if we vote out the two imposters then we'll get the epic victory royale <sighs> whenever i see the grand theater I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Why don't we go there? Look at that, it's got a little primo gem up there. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Yes, that's the dementia, March 7th. Unfortunately, you're getting old. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Yep. Nobody knows what's happened. That's right. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, Robin. and us Ikitai. were all outsiders from another world. Yeah, Aww, maybe. What a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Just hit her. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the street. Just hit her, bro. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need Hey, hey, friends. Among Us, stop Let's having sex in my chat, bro. You're going to scare off YouTube. Stop with the Among Us gay sex. Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Uh, guys, I saw a red, blue, and electrical. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream... What happens to them in real life? They wake up. Seeing as we're at the family's behest, they they simply wake up. Pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel. Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Yeah, I don't know. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Okay. Worth focusing on. Oh. No problem. He's going to go masturbate. I'll leave it to you then. Thanks. Huh? Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. No. Oh, well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Bye, Dad. Keep in touch. Bye, Dad.
There he goes, man. Hmm. Yeah. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what the? How did bro know? I'd be embarrassed too. <laughs> what the? Him. Bro stared at. What do you mean? Who's looking at me? Don't say behind you, you freaks. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you've met March 7th yet, though. Well. I swear to God, Acheron just vented. I swear to God, Purple vented 1 million percent. Is there something about my name? Yeah, it's stupid. First. Don't you want to know my name? Emanator. I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. No, my real name. Oh. What are they saying about me? Oh. Oh. Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. Did we really want them and here? And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. Like, genuinely, did, did we want them here? The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Why would we have want the Annihilation Gang at our concert? Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pastor. Yeah, bro, bro definitely de definitely did Ron's get bodied. Disparaged like this. He did get bodied. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? What you about to do to Welt's black hole? Second of all, that's a damn good point. Imagine Welt goes like this. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a good point. That's a good point, Akron. We can just, uh, just slice it, bro. Just slice it. Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of OP, man. Kind of busted. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential <laughs> threat, your knowledge of us has oh, reached shit. uncomfortable depths. Oh shit! Yeah, Akron, I would, I would calm down there, buddy. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, he's so cool. Brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Well, goddamn, I guess. Okay, well, should I guess just rip him up? I guess. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. I wonder who does win in the fight while they're Acheron. Because what if Acheron just goes sexy mode, stops time and slices before he black holes? You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. Oh. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Okay. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? John Techdown. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. You're right. Everyone has their own unspeakable past secrets that they don't want to be revealed and i won't be asking any more questions such as why the astral express is roaming around the cosmos with a stellaron on board why you make stellaron highlighted like that why you do that I'm having it on for fun is she okay that memo keeper didn't do anything right she took my sandwich and pushed me to the ground and threw sand in my eyes She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. 
Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Wow. Wow. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Bro, don't make Sunday a bad guy. You He's so cool. We could find the proof to support this claim together. Don't make Sunday a bad guy. He's so sick. I think you've I'm pulling for Sunday a million percent. Haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Okay. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. Why is it looking like that? The conversation coming up will last forever. What does that mean? I like her thong coming out of her booty shorts. I like how Akron kind of a freak. The same time, Hotel in the real. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to Soul Glad. And she said, Really? And I wonder. But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Holy boobs. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. Yeah. Send this on zero, bro. Looking good. Share, Miss Acheron. Yes, sir. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. Yeah, what about it? There are latent memories that linger on it yet. Yeah, it's cool, right? You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel. The f does that even mean? Other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With God, some bro, if some chick ever had eyes speak. like that in real life, the bro, gang, my balls would explode. Disappeared after meeting like, my balls would have rocked. Exactly happened to that them. shit is so cool. Well, let me reveal all. Get naked, 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 get naked. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Father. That's me. I dedicate this to you. That's me. I'm dad. Well done. Dubra. Oh, this is uh, this is Duke Inferno. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. Well, that's not good. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. His what? His prostate? This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next we Will is... shock you! Click on my YouTube video now to find the top 10 reasons why Dirk Inferno probably deserved his death. Oh, shit. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Oh, shit. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Who that? Who that? When have thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? That was Katarina. The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. <laughs> Who There's is bro people. talking to? They have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Who are you talking to, bro? Memory recovery is going well. 
but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Just this once removes eye patch. Yeah. Uh. Got. <gasps> oh, she came. What happened? She bro lagged. Yeah, I don't think the way is. Memory after <laughs> that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who are you? Uh, John. John Techdown. Who are you? J John. John Techdown. It's no. Is this not a memory? Oh shit! Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection or the Cremators? Is that Constance? My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Sex. She was gonna sex. But that seems unrealistic. Yep. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you. I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then. You can enjoy the banquet for me. Okay. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh. <laughs> Bro, why this story actually goes so hard? What the f Wanna listen in? It's so good. Yeah, guys, answer please for love of God. This has been an hour straight of cutscenes. Get him off my screen. Get him off my screen. Good. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. Dividing Interesting. themselves several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. But what does it all mean? Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm. Burned by all the gods. Who the f is this dumbass? Yo, throw him out a window. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not. Oh tears. god, is that adventuring? You beat us with your falling stars. Not my you belt. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. Okay, bitch, quit yapping, bro. Jesus Christ, acting like I've been running a three minute ad on Twitch. Relax. Yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Bro, what year is it?
The twelve hundreds? For Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. No, I'm good. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. Yeah, pass. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Yo, Acheron, eat this bitch. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? It low rolled. It failed the skill check. Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! No shit, dumbass. Raining? Raining! How did a baby talk? They weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Oh. Gyathra Triclops. Bro, you need to change your name. If that is your name, you need to you change came. it. By the gods! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, I guess. It was me. I guess my fucking name's Gaia for Triclops now, I guess. Listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born. The sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyatra. All right, this cutscene sucks ass. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you making me look at a baby, Lucky bro? Child. What is this shit? Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. Who? <gasps> My boy. Shut up. And he becomes a horrible gambling addict. May the goddess Gyathra. Wait, Gyathra? Close her eyes three times. Gyathra? Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Okay. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Anyways. <laughs> Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Bro, what a buzzkill. <sighs> Time. That mom to sounds like my up, ass. Tell people not to play Genshin Impact. Bro needs to relax. <laughs> hey, oh, man. Heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as oh. you guess, Ratio! nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. Ooh. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Yo, why doesn't Bailu just res her? I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> just, just get Bailu. 
Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if Why everything clutch up? were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Like what? Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was... Another body. Fire fray. I don't know the exact details. I just killed her. That it was a stowaway. It was an Two illegal immigrant. <laughs> I told she you. She illegally came, came to Panda County. Oh, she must have come across the other one. And in my opinion, it was deserved. This murderer is a psycho. But I have psycho. to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. The f is a malfeasance? Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. Go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Go. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... So? I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you all Go. already exhausted your <laughs> limited Bro is so zesty. So soon. Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it's be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. No, don't talk Robin to mutes, bro. They're all mentally ill. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. Bro, he sounds like the but dude. But she died right before my very eyes. He sounds like a dude who would wear a Nita Max win. and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. Okay. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However... For the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? No! A probability? Absolutely yes, not. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. You know what I can't do when I can't control myself and I want to use my hand? That man wants to see you again. Oh. Who? Oh. Sunday. Best boy! <laughs> Best boy Sunday! Is this That's a my mother boy! Trial. If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. Yep, that's right. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. We're here. The Holy July shit, we've been in an unskippable cutscene for fortress, 58 minutes. The heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Panacone. Fortress. <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. 
I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting Best boy! of its Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Yeah, dumbass! Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? My side, bitch. Who's to say I won't sell you out? True. Go <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out. You ain't gonna do shit, little boy. Follow me little and I'll subby bring boy. you to his you want about? You ain't gonna Hold do your shit. tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Yeah. You got the shit ratio? Holy f do I get to play the game? Oh! Oh, Hendrick, what up, man? Dumbass baby. Don't make hey, me talk you to him. Two? That's a place of business. Yep. No entry. Okay. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. I bet you he did. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Yep. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. I uh, know. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Right. What are you and talking about? As I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Why, why do children ruin everything? <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Why don't we just kill him? You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't why don't we just straight up kill him? Who? Guys, guys, no one would care. <laughs> They, they would care for Dead five end. minutes and then they would turn on Netflix. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. Yeah, we could also just uh, uh, I mean, open it. There isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons. God, his voice makes me want to shoot the myself. Administrative site deep in the I'm, I'm keeping it a buck, boys. With the mechanisms hidden in these nightmares. Like, good God. Statues. Bro's, bro's voice is misery. To can me. be controlled. Pure misery. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Okay. Well, maybe we should do the same. I'll take. Nah. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> he course. he moans after every word he says. Course. He says, "Look, uh, we can't open it by force." Uh, like, bro, what are you doing? Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Uh-huh. Mm. Forward, right, left. Are right, these forward, forward. Nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. Oh, okay. There are no eagles in the five families. Why, why does bro care? <sighs> Why? No, actually, uh, they're not nightingales. They're actually uh, murdered eagles. Like, okay. Use function button. Okay. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the a truly miraculous You're welcome. discovery. Perhaps I just remember. I offer you the chance Mega to brand. join the Genius Society. Yes, really? sir. <laughs> Well, I thought you'd given up on that already. Yes, sir. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? No. Actually, 0%. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Some, some geniuses are just terrible at sarcasm. And they expect you to pick up on these little cues, but in reality, they just sound like a dickhead. Impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Bro, you look, that's, Do you need me to that's the house that I need. We're in a dream. To be fair, that's what no my house is gonna look like after I upgrade it. It'll not affect Penicone, 
Stop it will be time nitpicking epic. the family here. Mid picking family? Oh, they've Any taken way over. To destroy the family is dead. Oh no. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. We're, we're doomed, man. The mid pickers took over, bro. Hold on. Right. Oh. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. Oh. My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. Yes. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Well, that can't be good at all. No, oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. You gonna make me wow. go back at what? All the way, aren't That's you? an enormous... Oh, not yet? Okay. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. What would be really I cool is if they shrunk us down and let us walk around this. I ain't talking to Verdant Manager. I don't know what the that thing is. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. Okay. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Oh, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Uh, I don't know, bro. Why are you asking me, man? I'm just playing video games. Found it. This is it. Bro, bro, what do you mean you found it? Bro, I was here like half an hour ago, bro. Bro, you are slow. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who pass through it. If I, I wonder if we're going to shrink to go in the city. My mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Thank you, Dr. Ratio. Thank you, Veritas. Like, thank God. Somebody, somebody saw it. Adventurine, we don't like you. Please shut your mouth. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Shrink me. Shrink me, Daddy. Oh, look. The gap is closed. Ooh, cool. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Jump in. Jump in. That's so cool, dude! Uh, oh, good heavens. D did I drink? I am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. Oh? It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! What do you mean by that? Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Oh, that could be cool. <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Wait, where's Big Ratio? <laughs> oh, Big <laughs> Ratio, dude. Damn. I like that. That's so cool. Ooh. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Ooh, wait, so did they design the world that when you drink Soul Glad? Wait, what if Soul Glad? What if when you drink Soul Glad, it doesn't make you go to a different world? It shrinks you down. They go to your hotel room, they grab you, and they put you in like the. They put you in the zone. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. That would be insane. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. It's like Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Hello. Welcome to the 
Welcome to the Golden Hour Burr's model. Burr. <laughs> I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. Beba, kick it. Model, happy to be of service. Always works. Gen. Whoa! Let's do emphasis at the end there, buddy. Kick it. Down the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule machine model. Model. You know what's crazy? Your mom made the same noise to me last night. I don't know what that model was doing to Adventurine, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to be like him, bro. I saw nothing. Oh, <laughs> okay, great. Oh, capsule machine. There's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? That's a big bird. Doctor, pick me up. So, Yippee! I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Hey, que interessante! That's, that's a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison. Right where he can see it, first thing in the morning. Insecure much? <laughs> oh. Insecure much? <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Adventuring's hot, too? Yeah, Duck. but I'm not gay. I'll need your so I ain't trying to hear that again. shit, bro. I'll be real, bro. When, when I'm watching and a dude is moaning you know, in the sex, I, I just turn it off. The I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. Must be hidden somewhere in the hall, like the I ain't trying to hear that shit at all. Wait here. And I'll be back in a minute. He's gonna get swatted. He's gonna get swatted like a bug. <sighs> Finally, a moment. Or oh, they do those weird ass shots where you see the guy's ass? Oh yeah, those things, that's so weird, bro. Yo. Come on, Veritas. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Okay, well, now we're just Sunday being a bitch for no reason. Just beyond this door. Now, from my limited understanding, now we're being a bitch for no reason. Someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah, shit, yeah. I guess. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Ooh. Tell me about your plan. Okay. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit. And, and what is that? Or fear. Okay. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. Lol. He won't be able to turn a blind <laughs> eye, and that's fear. And she I'll did. Help him oh, wow. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Ooh. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh -huh. um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? Yo, we all like Sunday, right? Surely he's a good dude. By the way, how far are we into the doctor. quest? There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, okay. I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> She could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. 
There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. Ah, they can't be bad guys. They're we'll so see. pretty. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. Very In well. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Oh, well, that doesn't sound if like a good guy at all. Just beyond this door. That actually sounds pretty, close to zero, pretty ominous. <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. Maybe he like, right? maybe he like shouldn't ah, do that. The charming audacity. Wait, so does this to mean Sparkle was right? Of all people, my And racism is based in Hawkeye Star Rail? Dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, shit, bro. I mean, if Sparkle said it, this got to be true. Yeah, all my homies hate adventuring. That's my mother boy. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. Yeah, what up, Bobby? I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort what a cute into little face. me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Holy dramatic pause. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. He's a shield unit. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties. Hasn't he? Lol, duty. Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. Fuck a lie, bro. Anybody who dramatically talks about looking at a wall is well usually a not person, a good guy. Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming is many a bad guy? just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom. But he courage. just, he seemed like such a good guy but moments prior. one thing I must ask you. What's that, sweetie pie? That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be, witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. I agree. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? Ah, uh, bro, you just look dumb as if not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against. And him. what is it, perhaps, that he said, Mr. Sunday? Mistaken. What is it that he said? For depravity is creeping in around you. Okay. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. Once more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Yeah, because I killed her, lol. Who could be responsible for this? My ass. Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and okay. the box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department, a sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. 
Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Avengerine, when you are out and about, do you always Look at that cute little face. to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. <laughs> what the f Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. Yeah, he what he said. Quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money, but before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Take your body. Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <laughs> what the f <sighs> What have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. Fucked <laughs> up! Oh, no. To shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. And if I refuse to answer? Kill him. You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Kill him. Question. Do you own a cornerstone? <laughs> I no. Yes. What a simple answer. You too understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Yeah. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. What is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Bro, Sunday is so cool. Do Avgens have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? No. Yes. Oh! All the Avgens were killed and- Hey, shit, I know! Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? don't know. Interesting. Who's the bird? Now, the final question. Who the bird? Can you Are you gay? Oh. At this very moment, the Aventurine stone is safe and sound in this box. Oh god, please don't be Oz. Hmm. Oh. Looks like we can get an answer. 
Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. There you go. Bro, the cuts in this game look so good. Please. He's so cool. Nani? Oh. Are these what you're looking for? I have your balls. Okay. Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. Yeah, he's a dumbass. You're an avid learner. Who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all? Aventurine is actually a dumbass. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Oh, uh, yeah, I would. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. He sold us out? Good, deserved. Be quite aware that. A base ratio, to be honest. No other faction is willing to share such Go. information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. Yeah, what if you give him a jetpack, then what? But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? I, I'd have to imagine, yes. <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The ten stone hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Ooh. Great. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Co cool, among us? Bro, I love Chicken Wing Boy, bro. Yo, where is Sparkle, bro? <laughs> I appreciate it. Where is Sparkle? Her behavior's been out of line. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> Okay. The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to. Alright, so what do these stones do? He won't reveal out of to you curiosity. The ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this oh, power golden boost? statue is okay. also known as Topaz. Not adventurine, and it okay. belongs to Topaz. Okay. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested in. Wait. The so then, how did he lie? Cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of, because he never intended to hide it. 
in fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Okay. Oh, he did? Okay, good. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Okay, so he's just an idiot. Okay. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. Unless they don't. As for the villain... <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <laughs> you moved the gem two feet, brother man. You rat. He moved the gem two feet. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable after. Oh, that's freaky as. Okay. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. Nah, I'm good. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace, yet you acted willfully. Uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Kill Mr. Him. Aventurine. Punishment. Kill is him. For the Kill event. him now. But I have seen your resilient spirit. And thus, I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Yeah, well, you ain't such a f dumbass. These 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths. Damn, bro you. got cancer, skull emoji. Depends on whether you can YouTube chat's wild, man, I'll say it. The time it generally is wild. Should you succeed, you will Why does it have any care without boobs? Bro, I've literally been the hyping up Ratio, Sunday, if and you, well, the entire story quest. Suffer the wrath of the eternal the f is that take, bro? Fall into an abyss of doom. Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. <sighs> Sounds like I'm going to end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will little kitty face. the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. That's a lot if of work. Our findings are okay. Adventure is a good character. Are you tripping? I don't know about insights. that, man. Then they will truly I don't know about that. To grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at. Isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Okay. He died. Bro got cancer. Who this is that bird, bro? Isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's extortion. It's an outright execution. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, give a uh, Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. 
That's all. YouTube streams ev ends every six hours. Way, Ooh. Before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You. Yeah. Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Yes. Kakabasha. What the f oh. yap fest? Oh. Are you injured? I got it back, sister. That's adventuring is a is a, is a baby, isn't it? Look for them. That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. Nah, bro's dead. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again. Nah, f it. Okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. One? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Good job. Of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Good. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. What a horrible name. <laughs> Gayathra Triclops. No, what the f is that? Your luck by going up against those those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad? What? Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. There'll be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. Shut <laughs> up with that name, trials. bro. And that's your good luck. It just Kakavasha. takes me out of it, bro. You what the f is the that? Precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> and you need the plan of happiness. So always remember to protect yourself. Can we quit and that? Never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Mm. Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay, we'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. Triclops. But what sister, the? If Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why yeah. did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catacombs land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. He lost the 50 50, man. What can I say? And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. Till the moment she Man, is this supposed eyes. to be a euphemism for God? Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace... Okay. Then how bad were our sins? So Say so Gyathra Triclops we ten more times. World of death? Amoba! Amoba! I did everything for Gyathra Triclops. Why did Gyathra. Holy ass. Why did Gyathra um, Triclops forsake me? Excuse me. Yeah. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. Okay. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Damn, unlucky, bro. Hmm, just as I thought. It is what it is. I'd like to ask, 
What kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. Hey, that's this what Envy uses. will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Okay. Please rest assured, your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Can I trouble you to access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information Why can I is emo by the Bloodhound and YouTube family. chat with my little tongue. We can <laughs> gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing there can we be go. found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? She's we dead. Are looking forward to her performance. Don't you know that she's dead? Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? Oh. The preparations they don't for know. the Harmony Festival have been oh, they don't know. smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Nah, she dead for Ooh, sure. She dead sure. for sure a million percent. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. There's been a 40 minute surprised. unskippable cutscene. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. Yep. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Well, yeah, because she was a stowaway. Why would stowaway, there be? She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. Nah, I don't know about that, Himeko. How is she going to see ah, I don't know about that, Himeko. Other way to enter a dream besides the hotel room's dream pool? The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive. Penacony! A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means Her name to is Silverwolf the Dreamscape Bell. Hotel Seal. According to the scene witnessed by her. It is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Huh. Who are you guys? Sampo? The Bravo team has arrived at their destination. Oh position. no! Not the Bellabogians! Armed evacuation operation. Fox, get moving. Oh no! Armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? Yes. What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let. It's not Bellabog. Yeah, it's the IPC, but they look at like first, the mobs from Bellabog. Part later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice! Hey! Check it out! That place! Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Hey, where's Topaz? To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. No. <sighs> yes! For you lot. My you girl! Not to drink during work hours. Oh shit! Take him back to the hotel room. Oh, she's so fine. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Oh, she's so fine. Topaz? Oh my god. I thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Adventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Yeah, bro, blew up. Huh? <sighs> it's fine. Do as I ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. 
Report to me before taking Good. any action. Yeah, leave him alone. <laughs> yes. Leave Sunday alone. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family. I bet a hundred you will pull for adventure by the end of the quest. No, I won't. I promise you. Turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff. Now, when I say I'm not going to pull for a character, I don't pull for a character. I'm not like M Dash. An invitation is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds. I'm pulling for Budo. I'm over Budo, 100%. Yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? Yeah. They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Oh, man, you must hate being yourself then, bro. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? Terrible. I hate the bitch. I bet you're not used to it. I'm not, because everybody says I should like him, That's and I don't. Just his style. <laughs> Fall or nothing yep. is his mantra. Yep. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. It's kind of creepy. No, nope, not going to cap. Everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. Yeah, uh, I'll be real. If he has merits, I have not seen them. always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble, which is why on the issue of retaking Penna County, I'm watching with keen interest. Yo, can you imagine if we get an oiled up Topaz skin? As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. Yeah. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Hey, on it, on it, my queen. Hey, hit me up with the oiled up twerk off later. We're carrying out our captain's orders. We made a mistake last time. Hey. And so that's it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, I don't give a about these dumb that's right if they ain't a main character okay. i don't care what yeah, that, that, that. looks like they're not going to do do we need to listen to these dumb genuinely oh, why don't we just look for the security do we do we need to listen to, uh, like do i have to listen to npcs hell no oh, such tight security i bet they're stumped by the case as well hey i bet you i kill them all in one uh, slash gallagher Ga gala <laughs> Apologies. Stab, sir. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. Okay. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Bro, I'm the main character, dumbass. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. Yep. The the gray-haired one. Yeah, you saw me in your mom's room after I. How her. much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? I set fire to only five orphanages. Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while. Beating me up with that silver haired girl. <laughs> yeah, she dead. Uh, yeah, she dead. Uh, I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave. <laughs> or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Okay, get on your knees then. Huh? Hey, like son, How like mother. This crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. The crime of we murder. Have documents authorized by the family it's that will aid your investigation. Bro's actually getting PTSD flashbacks. You, actually, you can see this, Mr. Gallagher. Yeah. Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? He was right next There's to you two seconds ago. Mentioning this name, even the one with the gray hair. Yeah. Uh, he didn't send you all here. It was the security officer who dispatched us. Okay. That's all I can divulge. Okay. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. Yes, sir. Sorry. No can do. Ooh. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Ooh. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make <laughs> things difficult for each other, right? <laughs> This actor is really hamming it up, bro. Troubling you. Actually, when NPCs are this good, I actually don't Let's mind them. Think of another way. Bro's actually so funny. Another way. <laughs> he is uh, shitting himself, bro. Did they say something about so that? funny. Oh, uh, what was it? 
clockwork? Yeah. That got this guy to change his mind. Okay. Can you perform it again? That, uh, clocky magic. Yeah, I bet. I bet your mom can perform gawky magic. Please. Oh, that's so cute. Why don't girls in real life say please like that? <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no it's so one's cute. allowed through. Why is that gotta be an anime only thing? Everyone, please leave. No. Airless. Geos control. <sighs> You're a dumbass. Let me see what time it is now. Whoa. It's this time already. Yep. Time to clock out. And no one's gonna stop me. Actually based as Holy <laughs> Bacon. This guy's uh, bacon. Uh, this clockwork trick of yours. It's kind of dangerous. Yeah, I know, Mark Tennis. Geos control. Activate horror mode. <sighs> At least he won't be getting I'm in our way I'm telling you, again. there's going to be Pentecotti. Find with that exact plot. And ask him I'm telling you, bro. It's gonna happen a million percent. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Yep. <laughs> Activate oh, sexy mode. You guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Give me a million billion dollars. Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. Bro, homeboy looks so good. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Oh, by the way, for the people wondering when the giveaway is, we're doing it after we beat the story mode. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Yeah, I follow you on Snapchat. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. What do you mean, little girl? I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. Bro, Stella's actually like an eight-foot freak. This is also freak. the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided <laughs> to help child. the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of Wait, are we justice referring for to her. Firefly as a child? The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of how is she? How is he considering Firefly a child? Why? Oh, for well, him, because he's like a million years old. Okay. Uh, it's nothing. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find oh, it hard Oh, they're a go. former miner. Who oh. wants to leave a warm nest? Okay. Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. <laughs> Genshin Twitter. Mr. Gallagher seems <laughs> to be getting at something. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. Uh, let's get it. So I will change your definition. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Will you cooperate or do I have to Other disintegrate? than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. Yeah. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Yeah. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Nice! Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Pinnacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, oh, no. and so does the divine's. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a Galaxy Ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Okay. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? She's so fun. The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. Okay. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Sheet. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer. Oh God, bro, I just want to push that kid over. Regardless of the perceived <laughs> bliss, death. What is bro doing? 
Also, this necrosis will diffuse in, bro. and spread. One Someone's piece of the dick the puzzle's missile. mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. I'm gonna crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. That's deep. I'm sure you've gained a lot stick. from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Hell no. Of course. That's if I remember. Why has everybody got amnesia in these games? Okay. Did, did I die? Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when That's the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Well, then take it out. Take your time. Whip it out. That should do it. I vividly remember. Hey, mods, if there, if there are spoilers, home. just uh, time them out for a day. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Yeah. Someone once said to me, Kanakoni wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. And for the wall of textures, just time out for five minutes. i the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. If there a wall the of text of spoiler poster, though, then bet them for a week. And time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Yeah. Okay. There might be a way to change everything. Yeah, just put a black hole in there, man. Perhaps. What are they gonna do? But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Why is that in red? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. When I was a little kid, these bullies pushed me over and took my NASCAR. off. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He played Cookie Run Kingdom. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Oh! And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As Bro, the mix-up for the mood is so nice. Those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created Is this about Honkai Impact Third? And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Oh, that's sick. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Is, that, is this about Luocha? Because people must always move towards the future. No? Who's it about? Even if human weaknesses make or is that a spoiler? pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity Wait, it's actually about Kevin? eventually seek a way to oh, save itself. I thought y'all were talking about my schizophrenic and demon, that Kevin. man, <laughs> he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his That's heart. That's so crazy of names like Luocha and Weltman. He was the sun chaser of legend soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. I really wish I knew the Honkai Impact third story. That way I would understand uncharted, like the little only to come face little to face bonuses with they give you son, for Honkai Star Rail Enjoyers. Visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. I think I would have to watch videos. I don't think I have the desire to play. Countless I have too many games I'm playing right now. Surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the namelesses. The music switched up is that. also crazy. I'm wondering if this is music from Honkai Impact the Third. I know what you wish to confirm. 
The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. It is? Yeah, figured that. That's In cool. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past and within that abyssal dream. Wait, so does, is Acheron aware of Raiden May? Life alone. <sighs> I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. We don't know? I know she's another I version of Raiden May, but she, is she aware of that? It's fine. I don't mind. Because I know so her, I Raiden May, and Raiden Shogun are all like tied together. There's something. But I wonder I if she's aware of her counterparts. Miss Acheron, under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. You want to play Roblox? I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Ooh, well, that wouldn't be good at all, now would it? Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? That's a great question. That's a great fucking question. God, bro, I saw this video earlier. You know what? Never mind. I need to relax. Black Swan is so. Oh. She's so perfect. Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacone? Acheron. Who the f is this? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are. He sounds southern. What you're up to. My bullets will find you. Is that Boot Hill? Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone. Oh, that's totally Boot Hill. Good quality casket. That has you to be Boot Hill, bro. Imposter. I see. Sus. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's trying to Bro, Boot Hill is so cool. Who are you? Boot Hill. Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. Wait, is Boothill just dumb? You that imposter's bodyguard? Is he just dumb? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. You gonna bust on your face, Black Swan. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? Uh, she signed up by using my pre register link in the pinned comment. She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't yeah. you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> 
Iniquity. I'll be on Penacone soon. A memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak. Nah, don't do that. Alcohol's for losers. I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Okay. Well, then do something about her, Boot Hill. What are you going to do? She can stop time. The f <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Shut up. You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? The biggest two, the two biggest douchebags in Honkai. <laughs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. I can't. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my. What? An honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. Same. But let's not forget, <laughs> ah. you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this town. Unfortunately, Adventuring Shield is way too OP, so nothing can kill it. Great. Then tell your people that Adventuring is ready to go in 17 system hours. Is Adventuring oh, Topaz's got a boss? Lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Coworker? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's gotcha. a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penacony. So I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. Because I remember Things Adventurine or so Topaz answering to Adventurine the after the, the end of the Bellabog quest. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. You failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Yeah, she was funny too. Go. Do what you must. That's shit funny. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the Bite the dust! The you are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. Okay. What's this? Medical advice? What the f How the hell do you do that shit? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. What the f <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Show me your asking balls. You to solve a case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. Uh <laughs> but the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. See, I like when Adventuring shows his annoyed side. I hate how he's always smug. It's actually so annoying. But him getting pissed off and being screwed over by Dr. Ratio, like, that actually made me like him a lot more. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep this... Hey, do well, I need to talk to these losers? Well, you see... I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. Yes, okay. That's 
incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. Hell no. <laughs> sure thing. Wait, La Rose. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Hell no. Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panacone. <laughs> I well, really feel like I can skip this. Up for some, it was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody. Yeah, Thank I don't you. care. Unexplained coma. Yeah, I, I, I listen to that bitch. <sighs> I can feel so. Yeah. I, I am not uh, listening to chat bro talk. There's no way that uh, like I'm just not. I'm just not. You, you, yeah, bring bring Doctor Ratio uh, back. There's no way they're gonna give me any imp bitch. important information that yeah. delivered via what, these dumbass a NPCs. A monster covered. <laughs> oh, sip of liquor. Oh. <laughs> or are you just you really shouldn't drink so much oh <laughs> the devil <laughs> they sit mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> oh, it doesn't ever... take care my friend holy <sighs> shit he looks cool you don't look why the f can't we have a dude that looks oh, like that right, then. well stole what the f <laughs> all right uh, what was i dude give me some jack <laughs> naked bald man bro <laughs> Gallagher, Gallagher don't look like that, bro. You want to talk to me? <sighs> like, we, we need a bald. <sighs> now did your boss talk you? Well, she said I thought about it. Mm -hmm. Guess she's gone. <laughs> go, 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 go. Hmm. Is this? Yes. Go, 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 go. No, it's not mud. <sighs> um. Oh. He's an intel. Anyways, <laughs> holy oh, yapping man. NPCs. In the dream, and nightmare ghost. Ooh, the child. This one's probably important. Oh shit! Remember Corona. what I said. The COVID vaccine. You Zygonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Sparkle. Look at you. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is this yeah! so enticing, my fine fellow? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, That's my girl right there. Fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Yo, what's the name of Adventure Age Race? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Before hey, the, the Sagonians. You know? I stand with Sparkle. Come on. What did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. Yeah. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. Sagonians better off in the you sewers. <laughs> That's actually wild. What do you mean? <laughs> actually wild. You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, yeah. I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well... She's so cute. It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> yup. But it's a good thing if you ask me. Because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? Fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out... Will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? God, I hate his voice. Why should I help you? True. That's a Don't great question. Don't you want question. to see Panacone descend into chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. 
Back then, when you asked me to find a mute. Yeah, in VR chat, the lap dance me. Did you really mean Robin? Bro, imagine pulling out Adventure Rain when Boot Hill's just around the corner. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no is never sounded so many so YouTube pleasant. chats called Sparkle are Whittle Wacist. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's I admit insane. I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes. But one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. I know for a fact that bird is somebody. I just don't know who. I wonder if that's Elio. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. That's a, that's a lot of things, though. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying <laughs> I haven't <laughs> learned anything so far. That's what I'm saying, man. So here's the thing, I don't know shit. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no. 16 system hours. Oh, thank God you corrected that. Otherwise, you would have looked like a dumbass. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my bro, precious... Bro, the little two dots underneath the eyes are just so adorable, bro. And I have one just like it. I feel like, when I feel like Sparkle's the cutest character in the, the entire and game. The whole of and Kafka's the sexiest and character in the entire game. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. Whoa, whoa, better? Shut now, the f*** up, the bro. IPC Who wants to deal with a crying right? bitch all day, bro? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Wait, is that actually a s*** button? For him to blow himself up? No, oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> Wait, he presses it, he just blows up? Threat seriously at all. <laughs> Wait, you're how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. Okay. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penacony. Yeah, he's a DJ knight. I'll handle the rest myself. Bro, that floating I'll ice cream is hypnotic. A grand finale for the downfall of the family. I have a feeling it ain't gonna work. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. So that means... That means reviving that Robin. Go ahead. Press because the she's button. a mute? Light Surely? Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. Sparkle, kill him. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Yo, Adventure Rain, press the button. Just don't let me down now, okay? Press the button. Now! So I whoa. So number thirty-five, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. Yo. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? What the? F Silence. I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Oh, so everybody be racist. <sighs> guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? What? 
Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. To do what, bro? Take over Go the universe? play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Dude, 66 morning and host his own battle royale. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. Yeah. But you look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now, and uh, don't let your master down. Wait, did, did Tangerine <sighs> kill all of them? Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. 60 bucks? I'll take my chances. That's it? 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but Bro uh, was an addict. That won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. Jeez. Life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Guys, just remember, it's okay to be racist towards um, adventuring because he's white. And you can't be racist towards white people. That's what Twitter taught me. So just making sure, like, this is all, like, fine. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page here, guys. All right, cool. <laughs> it's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Yeah. There he goes. So did bro and kill them all? <laughs> what brings you here, Gallagher? <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Who is you that? Have a to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. That's got to be a four star, and right? Welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. She's got to be a four star. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw. She's the so fine. Old Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. Nah, she's a four star. She's got to be. Well, she ain't an NPC. She's playable. I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look, a lady as cool as Serval. Wow, very epic, very cool. I think she is Serval. Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? She's yeah. lesbian. Oops, <laughs> she's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Ooh, well, we are running I'm out of stock up then, huh, buddy? Age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that yep, used we to are, put we food are on my running, table. We are running out of stock today, boys. The ingredients. They're all under the counter. Oh, Since do we get to play the, the alcohol minigame? Shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Holy ass, bro. The what the take quite some time so i'll prepare the some hell? customized non-alcoholic drinks for you in the bar but aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter there's nothing well, on the counter dream my lovely lady you can help yourself to anything if you wish for it comfort hunger confusion or even boredom it's all within reach right at your fingertips <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Oh my god! Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere. 
master technique and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. No, no. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. What are you, what are you yapping about? Just put rum and Coke together and you get, well, less good tasting Coke, but it still almost tastes like Coke, which is really yummy. Hey, uh, March. Did you find the bottle of- uh, March, relax. Uh, that's quite a stash. Okay. Not sure if it's enough. Why does March sound like she got hit in the head by a brick? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. She's running a bar, bro. What? Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Oh, well. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Goddamn, bro. Make me Her voice myself. is deeper than mine, bro. Fine. If you don't come Genuinely, along, genuinely deeper than mine. And not go anywhere else give me a sparkling drink sweet with extra ice why does this part of the story just feel giga 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 moment. not relevant what's her deal we can't discuss the case with am other i not like why is this part of the, the why bar? is this part of the story hey can you do that clockwork trick of yours again yeah. Like, I feel like this is relevant to, like, the event. Wait, can I skip this and just do the event? You're like, right I, feel, I feel like this shit does I not matter. Don't... Uh, make her ass depressed. Depressed people turn to alcohol. It's ridiculous. I'm too timid. You don't yeah. know. I know. Man, I don't, I don't give a f*** that an NPC is depressed. I really don't care. Anyways, let's get her addicted to alcoholism real quick. Still not leaving. I okay. just don't get why she. Okay. Let's make her angry. Those darn Iris. Huh. Okay. I I can help. Okay. I just don't get. Let's make her happy. Will you leave? I've seen it. The crowd is. I've Great, seen. Great, leave. <laughs> Okay. Well, maybe. Thank God I don't give a f about you, bro. The key has left. Are I know. Imagine that. Go to Hey, can I get back to the story or what? That being said, so go ahead. Nice work. Cool. You found some interest. Each drink has its own. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, bro. They need to retcon this the shit, and they need to take this out of the our conquest. Chosen. This makes no sense for us the to be here. The taste is after those despicable. Mikhail. Almost there. Like straight up. A symbol of bravery. Well, it's done. It's important? Bro, literally, Here's no, it's to not. You, trailblazer, with this glass of even the wicked. To the sad truth. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> okay, we're back. So are you satisfied? Oh, the they're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. Yeah. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. But but you're numb to it because you played Mr. too much Gadget Impact. Maybe can shed some light on it. But but I'm sure that the people who were right Hawkeye Star Wars would admit that this part should have been a little bit more refined. <laughs> Well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. Yeah. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. I weep for those. 
Does this Who had that true opinion? taste because have there anything to do with that Mikhail? Mikhail. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Okay. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Like, this is the important part, right? You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, not the part before Let's this. start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly see, now, isn't now a we're back, so I or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. Okay. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. Okay. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. Okay, I didn't get that. I, I thought Firefly was like an anomaly. We only or received anomaly. bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Pentaconi at all. Huh? Why is that? Does that mean... Does that mean what? You think when death kills something, it ceases to exist entirely? That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. That's what I said, but my chat said I was going to be that. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Well, Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Yeah. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, Who is right? Mikhail? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. I remember hearing about it a while ago. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. Mikhail Jackson? No. I don't think so. I'm the officer in charge of this case. I don't know don't about that. I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. That's cool. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Yes. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker. Yeah, like why did they invite the Annihilation Gang? Well, now you understand why the Oak ah, family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because it did the make no sense. It's not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Okay. You don't get it? Well. Why well, are you saying Mikhail's the watchmaker? Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, 
He's the watchmaker. Yep. Well, that can't be good. That cannot be good. Here we are. Clock Studios theme park. The most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? Holy shit, Marge, talk faster. The culture of a city reflects its history. Dude, if the Marge was a real chick in real way. life, I would cut her off. To you, constantly. it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. Watching Stell and Marge breathe the in unison is really freaking me out. countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in, in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu. Yeah, the, great the little dreamer, guy, right? The little, the the little guy? And the faithful companion of the underdogs. Oh, so he's based History on that. History always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Yeah. Okay. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. Yeah, it's caught them. We just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Huh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Okay. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. <sighs> All right. Problem is, March is really bad at whispering. here is great, right? We can see everything from here. You really can't see that much, Gallagher. Including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. Okay, so Clocky's Mikhail. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards. Yeah, I'm not a liar. I'm a fictionologist. from beyond the sky. <laughs> In the end, that term sounds insane. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. I'm not spreading but misinformation. If you do the math, I'm just a fictionologist. Doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for? Several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Like, what, 35? I'm 13. What? Uh, no way. Not even close. <laughs> Anunu freed the frontier prison. But peace still. My face, but I can't fish on World of Warcraft. With limited resources, threats from the outside what world, the and internal conflicts between major prison districts, what the future the? of uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker was a former miner with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the Father of Penacone. Father. But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... That means you're gay. No, I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. Ain't this like... But I am indeed a traitor. Kind of like Arlecchino's story? Not to the family, but to 
Mikhail. Oh. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. True. Just like you. Imagine I had being close neutral, bro. Actually, so toxic. We dedicated ourselves to Pentecost. People who are just neutral, no matter what, family. bro. They set us. What's up. the point, man? Legit, Mikhail what's the point? Too old to protect Way his in. children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. Well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore huh? Harmony to Penacony. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. Pressing, man. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Everybody hmm. died, the end. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. What? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. Holy shit! So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? You're trauma dumping on me, man. Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. <laughs> He's mm -hmm. so cool, what the f Something just happened at the theme park. He is actually <sighs> so cool, now, man. Now, if you'll excuse Damn. me, good luck to all of you. Holy shit. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago. Laws and jurisdictions, man. Gallagher we were all immigrants once. Does have a troubled past, it seems. Yep. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Somebody on YouTube just said he doesn't paying attention. Bro, I'm literally sitting here with my eyes glued to the screen. How much more attention do you think I can pay? What do you think I missed? Like, I am literally, I wasn't even talking. I wasn't even joking. I was locked in for that whole thing. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Yeah, Send he does. He work. does paying attention. He does. things are going on his end. Welton Acheron! Hey, what's up, homie? Did you f*** that broad yet? Mr. Wang. How's shit going? <clears throat> Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to the New Light Pavilion. Acheron, huh? Didn't Adventurine say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Thanks, Dr. Wang! Gee, Are your companions why do they call you Mr. Wang? Let me show you. 
They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Let's get it! A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Did we do this before? Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? I love well. His voice is like butter to me. This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Oh damn, we went all the way back here. One moment. We've been jumping over to Adventurine, Tangerine, and Dr. Ratio. Akron draws her blade slightly. Okay. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Well then just kill him. I see. What an interesting technique. Yeah. Yeah, me personally, I would just kill him. All right, boys, anyways. Stream four. Gleam of old Insane. Oh my you God. The people who left these footprints? Let somebody come on their shoes and walked well, away. Those kind of look like uh, flamboyant even. Those and look uh, like size, tangerines. I'd say these were men's shoes. Those gotta be tangerine shoes. If I'm right. It could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Yo, these shoes look Aventurine. gay. That's got to be Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. Yeah, so, so Dr. Ratio. individual is likely equal in status to... Bro, Aventurine. imagine being so gay, you got to wear gay the shoes IPC too. Is eager to so much so that if people were to see the reflection the of it or the footprint of it, they'd be like, nah, this guy's gay. No, no, no doubt about it. Set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Look, I dropped something. It's balls! A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Okay. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. YouTube chat, use that serious emote at me one more time. I'm a slap out of you. It must have been a Genuinely. big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Genuinely. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Don't act shocked when it happens. Gah! I hit you. You fly across the room. That that that. That that that. All right, next. Where do we go from here? No one here either. Oh shit, bro! They exploded. No around to entertain us. Let's ah, this is where Homeboy home. Sunday brought him. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Because if I say that, I would be put on a watch list. She wants to cover me in white. <clears throat> Channel my Robin. Rise up. Welcome to my world. Uh -oh. Dear brother. How are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return. But with the approaching Charmony Festival on your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Pentacony, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods. You what? Of complete voice loss. 
In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, YouTube chat, calm down. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of in interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to later conclusions. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged in the family of Pentagoni. And it's highly likely this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother. Because of our promise with the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There's another matter that requires our attention during my investigation. I learned about the memory zone meme and death, lol. <laughs> and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed this to, is to cause the series of incidents is a likely aforementioned traitor in the family. Sussy. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparation for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. I wonder if Sunday is the bad guy and Sunday's the one who killed Robin. Because he thought that she might be onto him. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I've brought some more time in reality when you're free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Gian, giant Moa pudding tarts from Morillions with wild strawberries from Akko and Yako, Nova exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm really certain you'll enjoy, and almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to enjoy them. May Zipe be with us. Ruin. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Pentacony, okay. Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Yeah. Robin <sighs> believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. What about Sunday's super mind Maybe. control shit? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Yeah. Unless he is the traitor. We're reading all of it, and we're reading it as well. Anne Sorrel, a male Halovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach. In the moment of Oasis, subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, male from Zhenzhou entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in the air. Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. It seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation. The information... Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Interesting. Just surprised that it has resurfaced. Sam. This light cone is securely guarded. Can we? Can I have it? Important memories. They look so cute According together. To oh, look at them. On so many Yippee! So cute. So cute. Her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder okay. how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses that's so cute yeah time is a way of smoothing things out i really hope that's a i really hope that's a future light cone will eventually fade away actually yoinking actually yoinking <sighs> oh. okay 
To Sunday, I've been informed about Robin, and I would like to express my dearest condolences. However, I must remind you now that you hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Penacone. As Penacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious to not engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. <clears throat> I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interest of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I have never found any evidence linking him to that Memory Zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Penacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominicus's arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family. Focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guest invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Oti. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old okay. Oni is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony <coughs> Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. Maybe it's all a meme. a lot of internal conflict within the family and everybody has their own agenda. Last one. Uh, ah! <clears throat> Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation to all suspects involved in the death case have been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully yours, S. Major Art. Ryan. A gen oh, so now type one for skip, type two for read. All ones, okay. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. Okay. It's got to be Sunday, they all right? They seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Or perhaps it's that's Sunday trying to cover his own ass. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh. I don't think trespassing on forbidden yeah! areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. Best boy! Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger. Best boy! 
Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we... Chaos Control! Permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? He's so cute, bro. Even without the famous... He's Dallas so Ranger. cute! As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Uh, I can hear you, Acheron. While the truth <laughs> remains a mystery... Uh, I, uh, I'm you're two feet away from me, Acheron. I can hear you. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. Bro screamed that whisper. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? Oh, because I did it. I told them I did With it. With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival. And the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you. But, in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You Bro, watch the light on Sunday's nose go left and right. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Ominous! According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. Let's kill him. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the I Sigonian mother Kataka Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refuge travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. The motive is he's a piece of shit. Who the f Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Who the f is that? If they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Yo! You don't know how many people. What the? Forever. As a servant. When the f are we getting our ass? Yet. You went and killed that man anyway. What was she saying? I'm looking at her. Oh my God. He has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Are we getting her? Can we get her? Not difficult, but definite. What are they saying? Stop. I, 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 too busy looking at her boobs. What are they saying? Holy f I'm such a coomer. Uh, pretty eyes, they shine in the dark. If they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Tangerine's name is Kakavasha? Okay. You don't know how many people will long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yeah, you went and killed that man anyways. Oh, you killed a bitch. Hey, good shit, homie. Murder-based. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Ooh, we always lose. Not if you go to the points. I agree. If you represent yourself, you're terrible. You're in bad shape. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. 
Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Oh, he killed his slaver. Bae. Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Can I tell you the problem with Adventuring's voice? My problem is, every voice line that he says sounds like he's sitting in a salon chair filing his nails while he says it. Now, I want you to imagine that every time he talks and every voice line, you will see that. And just imagine him, mm, pity. Tell you, just wait. You will see it in your head. Next time he talks, you will see it in your head. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about though. Yeah. Is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Here we go. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Then let's talk about Am I wrong? Gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. <laughs> What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. Just text him, bro. And then what? I want cash. Hard cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It's not that complicated. It's really not that shrimp. It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... Market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. Queen, slay. Yes. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. Are you giving him the one piece? Give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Ooh. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live. Yep. To create even more wealth uh, for us. I think you should kill him, anyways. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then... <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Okay! I gotta do that, then. Life is like a long-term investment. Wait, adventure read is Kagavasha? Choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcome... What?! And show the world their value. <laughs> Can, Can you imagine? The right choices the <laughs> but luck has always been on my side. Can you imagine? I've never lost. Imagine I was that stupid. Is it because Gaiathra <laughs> blesses me? <laughs> she must also be looking upon me right now. <laughs> my success is. Sorry, I'm farming my YouTube chats to do shock. You know, I'm, I'm a farmer, guys. But, Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? 
An even more glorious one. Oh, now you got off. Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? You will die! Never to return. You will die! I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Wait, what? Huh? How is Bro talking to himself? What? What? What the f was that about? What? Huh? Am I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? Sparkle? Perhaps both. I forgot me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords. Who was it that gave you the idea? John Dickdown. Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Yeah, he is. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Oh? <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you. And perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. What is happening? What exactly you want? You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> you're dying. Mm. <laughs> like, what the f is that, bro? What the f Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. You know what's great? There are so many people that just sit there and say, Oh, dude, shut up! Shut up and listen! Why the fuck is he talking like that? Who does that? Mm. Oh. oh, you're dying. Mm. Mm. Like what the? It's so goofy, bro. Like, is he seer? <laughs> like, like, Ted, 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 am I am I crazy? Like, okay, for real, for real, for real. Is it goofy to anybody else? Type one. If it's perfectly fine, type two. I need to know if I'm nuts. Nah, y'all gotta be cap. Y'all gotta be cap, bro. So, what in his character says he should be doing that shit? Because, like, a voice is the extension of the emotions that a character's playing. So, like... Oh... <laughs> like, what the... You'll like him soon. It's not a problem of me liking him or not. I just don't get why he's doing that. Because this is a dude who was a slave, right? This was a dude who had to fight for his life. This is a dude who had to murder his captor. So at what point was he like, oh, like, I just don't get it. Will I, will I understand? Like, because my problem is, is that I say that he's zesty. And then people say, what are you talking about? But then, well, literally says, look at these gay ass shoes. Like, am I not so? Like, I feel like he's just being like, he is supposed to be zesty, no? He, he's supposed to be zesty, yes? Yes, okay. 
And, and he's zesty in JP too, right? Because that's the thing that I was losing my mind over. Because I thought homeboy was hella zesty and I was being told that I'm crazy for thinking that. Okay. So he is zesty as Okay. Now it all makes sense. Now, now it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Okay. All right. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Okay. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Oh, bro's about to masturbate himself. Home boys, is it gay to yourself? <laughs> what exactly are you? just to reach one outcome. Yeah. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. Ooh, I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm sorry, guys. I am gonna have to kill that child. Right after a quick little mini game. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you? Lost? It's Sparkle. Sparkle now. Oh. No. What's wrong, Mister? You don't look well. It's baby adventuring. <sighs> it's baby adventuring. Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? I am thou, and thou art I. Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungra. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Wait. Homeboy ripped out his family's eyeballs and put them inside his eyeballs. Eyes too. Beautiful. What the? F are, are you alone? What the? F your parents. Is this just like some like Karapika bullshit They're from Hunter Hunter? Park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. You can't have those. Those are my eyeballs. God! Ah! <laughs> and Mama Funk. No, no, it, it can't. Oh, dude. That would go so hard, bro. Only on Panacone, am I right? Yep, that's right. <sighs> what are you still doing here? Yeah, that joke's not on the main channel, guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we're cutting that one off. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. Yep. You will receive no charity on Panacone. That's right. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls. That's right. <laughs> Not a likely feat. Okay. Which is why once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Okay. Like a okay. hyena scavenging for scraps. Because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Okay. All right. Well, when you put it like that, even ratios a teeny peacock analogy sounds. What do you mean by his peacock? Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. His what? It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracy calculation. You're both gay. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when everyone thinks this way, 
would even suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised. Interesting. Very interesting. Go on. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm pretty. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. No. Tight, sober, cautious. Hell no. Massive inferiority complex. Not that. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. Interesting. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight Jerking your <laughs> jerking your homie off. <laughs> Why is his hand below the table, bro? Is he jerking off the, the, the dealer? It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself too. Relatable. Relatable. I like that. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is true. first being able to fool yourself. Dude, 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 and that skill is so good. I have the same thing where a lot of you guys may not believe this, but like I am actually incredibly introverted, but I've tricked myself into thinking that I like highly social environments. Uh, and eventually I've done it for so long that now I'm an extrovert. It's, it's a very good skill to have. It's a very, very, very good skill to have. to embrace elation was that not what you most wanted but now nah, i embrace preservation for the preservation <laughs> i doubt it do you even have anything in common with the preservation knew it oh i thought you knew didn't you say you had me pegged what do you mean by pegged we're done Either stop oh, we're done. or disappear. <laughs> we're done. You're done. That's fine. You're done. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Okay. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Yo, Nanners, when are we going to play games again? I miss you in April. What sweet. Child. I miss you guys. I hope I hope you'll invite me to do something sometime. I don't know. I always invite you to come out to Austin. You never come. I sure wish you would. We're going to Austin. I don't believe you. I'll believe you when you're at my house. Oh shit. Completely ruined that shirt. Shame. Wasn't that the last one dad left behind? <laughs> oh my god, in my shirt. <laughs> okay, bro. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Okay, bro. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. Okay, bro. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. Are we gonna die? Why do I feel like a venture go game? Cabbed, bro. Child. Could he be in here? There's no shot we just kill Adventurine for fun, right? <laughs> Is this. Ain't that my little Jimmy, Jimmy guy? A topaz. Oh. oh. What is this doing here? Show me my baby girl. <laughs> Holy, bro. Is bro's head exploding? Did she, did she die? Why is Topaz's gem here? I was merely curious at why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing 
I hate how chat was right because I hated adventuring for so long, but now I actually like him. And and I hate it because I was so sure I just was not going to like him. I was positive. I was positive I was not gonna like him. And it makes me so mad when chat's right. I was I was one million percent certain I was like, yeah, hey, him. He's annoying. Oh no, let me go pass. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Kripal's body. I've gotta get to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was... Huh? Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. Huh? All the better for you. I don't think that was uh, acting. Sunday just become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature. Well, that's fair. So much that he gets suspicious. I'm thinking Sunday one million percent killed. Why you had ratios, so Robin. You You think so? The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. He spoke of the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found you the cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Nah, no shot. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Cap. Pure one. Was the ratio betrayal actually part of the plan? Is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. What the? F that seems so not part of the plan. <laughs> Rather beautiful green. Damn, bro. Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what you said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem Jade. Why is that so? Even oh, the bitch! The difference. I know her. Oh, looks like Jade she got the big boobies. I, I saw her today. Too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Aventurine, topaz, jade. Three elites, three cornerstones. Who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Oh. You're even more united than the family. Wait, so when, do, when can we play Jade? As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. So when can we play Jade? But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. So where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Take your cock out. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? Okay. I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble it somewhere. It do, actually. It really do. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. It's so pretty. 
I'll keep it a buck. I did not know adventuring was a stone. I feel kind of stupid right now. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways. Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Who is Diamond? How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's corner. No, I'm saying like, still be what do they look like? Its effect may be greatly diminished, but I get that that's the leader. I get it. Now I'm really curious. I'm hoping to God that's a girl. Why does every step you take I ain't gonna lie though, Diamond sounds like a mad stripper name. There's a dude? Ooh. Okay. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. But ain't you gonna die though? That is, if you can do what it takes. I'm assuming he can. I'm assuming he in fact we'll does do what it takes. See, uh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Give me that box. Nice. Are we out? Don't make me talk to a child. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Rip out his eyes and sell them on the black market. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. Eat the child. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see. Live. Oh my god! <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, a and together, turning us into one big No family. way! You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Sure. Oh, don't make me hang out with this child, bro. Oh, shit. What the f is happening? Okay. Click flip to dodge bullshit. Nutsy Blitz, you got it. Don't tell me shit. Don't insult me. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, I'm so dumb. Easy. Easy. Okay, clapped. How's that? Not a bad score, eh? Who is bro talking to? <sighs> Boring. That was part of the story? Insane. Da -da -da -da. Okay. 
And then? Yo. Why aren't you talking yet? How close is this to the end? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. I'm in you no rush, I'm just wondering. Here this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. I would hope so. Aren't we the same person? And so what is the deal with Homeboy? through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. What do you mean stretching this out? What if this is Sunday trying to make Tangerine think that he's going crazy to get him to reveal all of the secrets? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what if this is all just a ruse? Whoa, this place. It's so tall. Here is no water. So Rock and no water, only the sandy this road. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's probably not good to find. Oh, shit. Oh. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, it kind of does. <laughs> oh shit. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then in that maze. You You what? Shut up. What did I do? Yeah, it's kind of depressing, bro. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such a daring risk? So he killed all the other slaves, no? Oh, that's right. And the slave owner? You love the thrill of danger, but he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing Jesus. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> you could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Yeah. your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breathing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. So is he actually struggling with his own mental health so much that he's hallucinating all of this? If the problem is that it leaves can be brought back. Would they bloom into new flowers? But the problem is he has the same goo on him that uh, Sunday put on him. 
Read the read the next quest description after. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Oh, here we go. Your future never existed. 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 What the? What did I find now? What even is that? Oh. Oh, that's who that the is. Charm on the left of you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Oh. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say. But you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops. Who is Big Sis? And can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself do we know who Big Sis is? No, I understand it's his sister, but do they have his? Do they have a name? Like, are they a character we're gonna meet? She's dead. Okay, then no, we won't. All right. Okay. All right. Damn. Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Bro's actually a shit disturber to himself. Oh, shut me down like a champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. And woo! You are nuts! <laughs> In the Damn, he's gay. Man. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. But why do we? So we want to go head to head with Sunday because we think Sunday killed Robin. Is what I'm assuming here. The last word. A word that's but he's so cute. We'll know when the dice falls. My ass? <laughs> All right, then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? Yeah, it's OP, bro. <sighs> Ah. Oh. Yeah. It's so quiet this time. Yeah, I think that would be pretty gone. fucking epic. Remarkable Check the question description again. Failure, discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, mother, goddesses, beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure, discarded, loser, pointless, coward, murderer, chosen one, selfish, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, loser, discarded, pointless. Ward, Mer, Gambler, Blessed, Isk, Useless, Loser, Sen, Mother, Goddess, Loser, 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 Loser. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> My mom said I'm cool. Dead Mountain, Mouth, and Curious Teeth. Yeah, I'm Wubba, yo glue. Whatever you say, bounces out main sticks to you. Don't talk to me. Mother, I'm gonna rip your throat out, you child. 
But you always give me a special feeling. Yeah. It makes me more curious about you. Yeah? Bi curious? It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? No. Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. He dies. A slow and painful death. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. He's gonna die! This amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. What is the significance but of this bell? Mister, I feel like it has to mean something, but I just don't know what because I'm stupid. What could that belt possibly mean? Because they're not here. Where are they then? I don't know. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. You want to die. You want to die. We all are. Don't you? Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past. Knew it. And future. Oh, what the f Oh, I didn't know that shit at all. How long will you stay? Wait, so he's Ebenezer Scrooge? Wait, that's his dead ass ghost talking to him? What the? I knew that was him. The baby adventuring. I had no idea what the that ghost was about. That's insane. What the? Watchmakers so called <laughs> what the what Dude, the Honkai riders are going so insane. I actually love this shit. To be if this is his future, why is he a ghost? Probably because he's about to die. He doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger. Deep inside family territory. Jesus. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains? Spotlit center stage. <laughs> Does he? You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. What the? I can do it, and it will be flawless. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple now. I'm so tired. Every day the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed. Damn. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been what the holy Sag. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. But with that new death come... Oh, so that's why Diamond chose you. The colors coming from Sam? We're green and gold. 
which were the colors of Firefly and also the colors of Adventure Inn. Because Sam is an embodiment of everybody who dies on Pentagonic. Right? That's got to be it. That's that's got to be it. It's got it's got to be something. Right? I mean cuz like I mean that's got to be intentional, no? Cuz that coincidence is just insane. Okay, anyways. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. Hey, YouTube watchers, press like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the stream. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I said to your mom. Well, don't get soft on me now. That's what your mom said to me, too. What? Did you suddenly grow a conscience? I can't stop you from doing what you want. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is True. play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. True. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanbra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless death. He's not going to try to get Sunday to die in his place, right? Then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> Surely not. Well, maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's depressing. It's best to die without regrets. Nah, 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 nah. But, 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 what if I have Bailu to revive me? And now, only we are left. Hey, man. Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. There he goes. Not saving that shit, bro. Not having that shit in my library. How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Yeah, freak. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back to? Well, back to what? I can't leave yet. I got shit to do, bro. I still have a show to do. Yup. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. What the f so you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. Nah, homie, I'm, I'm just gay. A merchant. But I do have a show to do. Bro. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? 
Yeah, I'm like Men in Black, but I don't hit people for talking about my wife. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. Okay. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. Okay. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. Oh, no. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all the money. <sighs> Holy nails. Jesus. And that's the kid that was baby adventuring. Yeah. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick. An act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava. And that's our dead sister, yeah. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this ring. They will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Man, this birthday sucks. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action. And we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra. And you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Jesus. Why are you all doing this? The Afjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. And she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Afjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Jeez. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. That's what... Keep your blood eternally pulsing. That's what baby adventuring wanted to Let do with older adventurers. Forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. News flash from the Interastral Peace broadcast. The IPC I'm getting Stressed out just from watching this shit, man. ...that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Yeah. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The okay. clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC. 
resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. Holy the f Currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. Jesus Christ! The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? His mind's clear now. That was his anxiety, wasn't it? His fear of facing what he know, knows he has to do. It, that was his anxiety. That, that was him knowing what he had to do and freaking the fuck out and seeing his life flash before his eyes. What the f are in place oh, 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 oh no it's time for the show to begin oh no oh no this act is dedicated to you i hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you yo but what if you live but what if you live though kakavisha but what if you live though by the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What's that, Sunday? You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Are we about to get into a cutscene? Is this Miss Acheron? Oh, thank God I wasn't ready. Oh, whoo! Okay, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Phew! All right, good. Good, nice little break. Nice little break. Whew, I was about to throw up. I was getting so stressed. I'm not even kidding, bro. <clears throat> bro, I'm like about. To, I'm actually about to puke from how stressed out that made me. Hello, I'm Mark Seven. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Yeah, yeah. I'm that bitch. Yeah, you can call me Clocky. Uh. Hello. None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Yeah, bro, I've been, I've been reading the Since story Walt via text. Walt's to been texting me, uh, aspects. He means that he trusts you, and we trust his judgment. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Then come aboard the Astral Express. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger. Replace, replace no non to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Okay. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. Right? You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? I saw that shit coming. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Like what? Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Why not just suck them all into a black hole? numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellarbog and the Tianzhou. I am the bone of my bat, Stellaron is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again. 
But it's a good vibe. <laughs> no matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacony. Yep. Yep. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Then what are we waiting for? Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, then why don't we go? Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? They'll show up. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Well, <laughs> God damn, bro. Playing as Acheron, you really don't, you really don't get how beautiful she is until you like have her. Yo, what up, March? Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Uh, I'll be real. Not really. Yeah, you're right. Your trauma isn't getting to you, is it? Take it easy. It'll be fine. Yeah, Loki, I think I need to stare at this piss fountain for a little bit because I'm getting stressed out. Loki, I'm getting stressed. Let's get it. <sighs> let's get it. 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 Let's go. Uh, I have a... Yep. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Okay. Cutscene mode. Mr. Yang. Yeah, what up? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? They already know. It's just like you said. I texted them that shit. Inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate, in the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. Easy. OP. If my meager strength is required. We clap. A walk among the tombstones? Uh, it wants ice and electric. Let's bring Paylock. Yeah. Then let's go. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Why are we already so stressed out just to go to a show? What? Why does this feel so, we're just going to a show. Why am I bringing a team of four to, to go to a show? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why is there boss music? Okay. 
Hey, cool place you got here, Adventuring. Cool room, man. Astral Express. You're late. And this. Unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Adventuring. It is customary to show yourself as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Myself. Everyone, give it up oh. for Miss Delaron. Woohoo! Yeah, we're like all, we're like the only one here. There's no crowd. <laughs> Yippee! Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? That's a great question, man. Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist in Train's promise is nothing but a sham. That's a good point. Probably. Three homicides? Robin? That's right, madam. Firefly? The third one is about to happen right now, right here. <laughs> oh, are they gonna kill him ago? A truly grand no shot! You, you. No shot! They're gonna kill him ago. And you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. The f did I do? You will become the personification of death. I bet you I won't. I really ain't that powerful. <laughs> I mean, I'm like bottom tier, brother man. Like I said, you have the power to turn the tide on the entire game. Well, I mean, physical MC is kind of shit. And then tank one kind of fell off. Low key. Teeny, tiny accident on Panicoli. I would not like that. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become an IPC Queen's Navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. Yeah, pussy. You want to bet? Yes. Sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. Akron don't give a unprecedented explosion to prove nice cock shot by well too is a complete and utter joke okay you won't do it yeah prove it then bitch do it bitch boy <laughs> I can't. it's just another gamble yeah you better go bankrupt bitch boy i came from the wastelands of sagonia sagonia senora senora comes to life in honkai people paid to brand me put in chains, place me in the gallows, and bury me in the golden sands. Yeah. But the sun could not kill me. Sounds the great. Sands sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Hey, sorry, buddy. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? That's depressing. Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. No, nah, I need it just because I'm sleepy. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Hey, shit, if you say so, man. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or ground to. Okay, well then, shall we? The dice are cast. 
Yes. Fire MC Cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. Yeah. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. How did he do that? I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. <laughs> what the? Oh shit, he look I forgot he was gonna look like this! Bro, what the Let's see who has the last laugh. I would love to. Let's begin, bitch boy! Good time. Time to say Let's bye. get this show on the road, baby. Bob. Okay. Let's start pumping this shit. Uh, do we shred this? No, we don't. Not yet. Okay, good. We got enough for all. We'll wait. No reaction. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Cut him up. Bob. Uh, we do one more. And now I'm we obliterate them. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Holy, bro. <laughs> Again. Yes, sir. Bro is actually giga tanky. Like giga, giga, giga tanky. Okay. Yeah. Feeling a little dizzy. What the f does that mean? Say bye to breathing. What the f did that mean? Another journey begins. Time to say bye. Okay. Yeah. Just for oblivion. We're finishing right now. <laughs> Next. As long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. That's a damn good point. It's very sad, actually. <laughs> okay, holy f he does a lot of damage. Attack as many targets as you can. Okay, all. Oh. Oh. Enemy data submit mark. Oh. Time for good old counter attack. What does this mean? Still water to the flip. Do I need to alt again? So we're good, yeah? Oh, we're good. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need to stop doing that right now. Okay. Pop this bitch. Yeah. Kafka. She put us up to three for Akron. It do, Akron. Shred him. Stand still. Yeah. Just for oblivion. Yeah. Prepare for kill them all. Oh, we gotta do this shit again, don't we? Easy. 
Ready for another? Oh, Payla, I have a feeling you're not gonna be. You're, uh -huh. I, I have a feeling that you need more. We're chilling. Quick divination. Okay. Uh, shit. My ass. We're probably okay. I can do this to, 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 to shoot the score up. Let me do that real quick. I have a feeling we have enough points now. Yeah. Good. And I got my ult back. Yo! Good. Good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Thank God. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We go again. I weep for the departed. Dead. Huh? Down to the last player. So why can't uh? I be happy too? Why can't I? Don't don't place? cheat. Oh, okay, good. Insane. <laughs> if it goes laser! It's actually she can do that in fights and cannon story. That's insane. I'm starting to get a little impatient with She just ripped the goddamn laser beam. That's so funny. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting side reason does one true. What the f is he doing? What the f Yo, well, black hole is ass. <laughs> what the f I know you'll match my wager, right? You're Leaving? <laughs> oh, the flashback! Oh, the flashback! What the f dude? What the f What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not Tech looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Nihility. Even if that's not what I want. Yeah, f him, bro. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. Yeah. They have never glanced at anyone, and they never need to. Yeah. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk, and together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadow. Insane line. They mostly become a part of the shadow. Insane rebuttal. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the nihility's end. Insane. <laughs> Break order! Oh, dude, the slow walk through the rain. Unleash your sexy, oh, sussy bakamon. Weeping like rain. Well, the crossing stream. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I weep for the retarded. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. <laughs> oh damn! Body to the slash, bitch boy. Holy shit! 
Oh, she bitch boy Jujutsu Kaisen's barrier. That's what happened if Yami would fight Gojo. That cannot be good for the environment. Oh, shit. Did, wait, did Adventure just get slashed in half? Um, wow, that's OP. Is bro in hell? What is did she place? slice him in half? A gigantic black hole. And see. Did Bro get I... Bakura to the I Shadow just... Realm? A walk among the tombstones? This is where we go our what? Welcome to the sad world. Kakavasha. Wait, did I buy dead? Precious wealth. We what the? Holy you shit! After two days, it proves that you are the real deal. You've reached your final end. Bid farewells to in your final moments. Try your best to die without regrets. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. <laughs> what the? Unite in Kakava's next aurora. It's a pity this is not. So this is the zone that Acheron sends people to when she ults, cause she weeps for the depart. Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you. I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity, but the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form. <laughs> oh my God! The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my. <laughs> he dies, actually! The land I the was dead. trolling! This is all but Wait, I world. like him, though! One I came around to him! Of IX. Under the watchful eye of Nihility. We momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. God, she's so sexy. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. What does that mean? <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret Wait. which is even more on So Robin and Firefly are alive then? To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. 
And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. Yeah? And lives to tell the tale. That's a good point. Someone already has. You. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still... Firefly? Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... Conjectures is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. Robin faked her but death? You don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Firefly! A way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning, deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides, constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others, leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. That can't be good. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. What? Plans the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. <laughs> the adventuring stone is too oh, legit just bullshit to my escape from the stage. Insane. If Insane pathological day, liar. You did Insane. Not unsheath your blade. I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Yeah. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. I have depression, kitty face. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? That's a great question. Anime. I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. 
But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. Based. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? I know, brother man. Able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. Dark ass quote. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. What? A new gem? In his pocket? Check your pocket. The fuck is that? Huh? Doctor's advice. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Common ratio W. Well, shit. Where do we go from here? <laughs> Then I shall get going. There he goes. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mr. Papa. I'm cold. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape? Yeah, I forgot to do my dailies and cookie run. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. And the Wi-Fi's terrible. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle. And I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with my family. But we're chilling, right? Until that time comes, I should be preparing. Because we're going to wake up and everything's going to be okay, right? For what? There is a happy ending in Pentacone, right? To face them, Kakamasha, and to make them proud. Because we're oh. chilling. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. Thanks, little homie. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. Yeah, because... <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. Put your widow hand on my hand. Widow buddy. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together. Oh. <laughs> you gonna give him the hat? <laughs> oh, what a Are good widow buddy. Now? Yes. Oh, look at him go. That is May so cute. the mother cute. goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Because she has three eyes because she's a triclops. Keeping your blood eternally, eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. 
your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Wait, so is he dead or is he alive? Farewell, Kakava Chef. Holy, he dropped his hat. Wait, that means he's alive, right? Surely? Yo, Tangerine, wake up. <clears throat> With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descended into the slumber of tonight. Until the dinner. <clears throat> but this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, and every sinking night by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all. To weather tempest one out. <clears throat> and now, in the unfathomable depths of dreams, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest, quietly, peacefully. <clears throat> the light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. Is he dead? He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> Jade has a voice actor confirmed. Your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Harvesting? I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow you wonder why I the come? Of sweet dew. Mm -mm. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. The memory zone? <laughs> Whose POV is this? <laughs> Wait. Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to... <clears throat> the indescribable force severs the power of preservation. While time and space froze instantly, your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plunge. <clears throat> until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. I'm Techie. You're awake. Hey, I've Sam. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Yes? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I, I know you. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. Yeah, where the f am I, bro? But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script yeah elio is right in this land of the dreams you and i will reap unforgettable gains <laughs> yeah at the gym i'm on steroids I now know people's hearts as well as he and kafka do nor do i have a specialty like silver wolf and blade most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. I'm, so, I'm, already, I'm already Tracer. There is only one method that I use. What? This is to show you. <gasps> what? <gasps> All that I am. Hold on! Does that work? I thought that shit was cap. Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. How the yep. does that work? Paranoid. 
Bro, bro. <laughs> do you You are so funny, Mr. Hold Security up. Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. I've been told so many times that Sam is Firefly and I went along with the bit. How the f does that even work? She was killed in front of us while Sam was also there. <laughs> How in the f does that work? Don't say nano machine, son. What? What? She turned into goo. Sam wasn't there? Yeah, he was. Because he's the one who led her there when we were doing Firefly's flashback. Eh? Amo eto. Aboba, what? Um. <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, how the f that work? How the f that work? Wait, what the? F First of all, hey boys, it, we're gonna finish. We're gonna continue on here. What if? Can Firefly make fake clones? And maybe what we saw was Sparkle making a fake clone of Firefly and that's what got killed because Sparkle just wanted to with us? Like she did for the Acheron trailer where Acheron was fighting the clones? No, nah, because in the Acheron trailer, Firefly makes three clones. I can't even read chat. People are getting so angry just for talking. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Kinda. Why are you here? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties? He's so hot. It'll only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Yep. <sighs> Scoundrel. Punk. Drunk hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. Yeah. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Ooh, I would not say that. I would not say that. I would not say that. You the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter, I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you. What? Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Kevin? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? What? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? Oh! 
You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits. What is he getting at? From all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. So, so is he sus? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. What the f is happening? Admiral. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? What? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. Why you did it? The answer to a question. Why? Why, bitch? You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Wait, so Sunday is a good guy? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. In a future collab? What the? What the? F no! Wait, Brown killed White in the in navigation? Wait, so Gallagher's the goober? Yo, you. Ugly bitch. Don't play this happen. Wait, what the? F and that's it? There's no more? We gotta wait six weeks? I thought Sunday was the bad dude. It was Gallagher? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm up right now. I'm up right now. 13 equals death. What the f does that even mean? Am I stupid or are we all confused here? How the f Bro, I didn't suspect Gallagher of nothing. I'm going to need like a, something explaining this shit to me because I'm confused as Tarot card 13 equals death. Yeah, I know that. I know that. The death 13 from JoJo's. Hell to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. I get that. He said he's 13. Oh, uh, bro, actually admitted that shit in front. Man, I thought that shit was a meme. What the f Holy shit, it feels like my brain is exploding. That was insane.